This problem is driving me insane. It's been going on for days and I'm still baffled as to how to solve the problem. What's the problem? I'll give you a hint. Malik. Yeah, see Malik? I mentioned this in the very first video and the problem is still ongoing. What's so basically, I'll explain the setup I have here. Although it'll be a lot simpler here. So basically, I'm calling the function. Okay, I'm calling the function here. Of course, as you can tell, I've got some pointers here in the parameters. So, I supposedly put in the address for those. These are not really relevant. So, when it comes to, when I call the function, this is the, ver the array or pointer that I want to get set through malloc. I want to get it set through malloc. But I can't directly reference this exact one in the function. Because otherwise only that one is going to get it, and not the few dozen others. So it has to be sent, sent through the function for the one that gets changed. So in this case, unlike the 20, it will be something like a few hundred thousand or even a few million at the high end. Probably three million at the most. And I've got three gigs of memory, so malloc is not the problem. This works. And if I used it in a struct, it also works too. Basically, here's an example here. I, named, I define the struct. I can set this just fine. I can set that just fine. I can even malloc this just fine. And I can change values within it just fine. However, and of course I got this struct definition, but this is how I have the image data defined is it's not in the struct, it's on the outside of it. Same basic format, just different names. What I want to do is I want to have this, you can tell there's a match here, and I want to have it that passed into the function here, and so, I, so that pointer, this one here, is set through malloc in here. It's not working for me at all. And I've got a breakpoint here, as you can kind of get a hint of here. Notice the high line numbers here. Yeah, it's not even all the way down yet, but there's also some temporary stuff and things that need clean up still. But Anyway, basically, when I run the test case, it gets to the breakpoint here. And this is what problem I encounter. Why it's doing this, I have no idea. Okay, so I'm going to move the breakpoint put it right here. Okay, run it again. Here there's no problem. Okay, debug test you can kind of get a hint of is a double. Okay, input array. I'm going to press F10 as you can get a hint of right here. Step over. This one seems to have a bug where it's saying there's no source code for it and I can't continue on with debugging anymore which is rather annoying. So, F10. That's what I get evaluated. Here, this pointer is supposedly not zero. You can kind of get a hint of this right here. So that means it's okay, supposedly. Okay, here's where I'm trying to set the values of what this here is. Okay, so it should be 115. And it is, correct. Here it's 76, which is capital L. Here, I get the pr problem. And all this is, is that I'm referencing the actual thing I'm trying to set, but as you can tell, it's a bad pointer. Why is that? It's a problem that's been bugging me for days. Over a week, even. So, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like some assistance on this. Because otherwise, I have to define long arrays, which means memory waste, and the inconvenience of having two or three different editions for different quality type settings for your high-end system and your low-end system. This is done with something like this. Big test cube. Eh, of course, you got to have the data type. Unsigned char. Big test case 2, because you have to have different names. And then brackets for the arrays. You have to have a semicolon at the end. And inside the brackets is the number. In this case, I'm just going to pick some some power of two that I memorize. 
So basically, if it was like this, it's going to remain this all the time. What if I need to increase this? Well, I have to make the number bigger. I'd have to make the number bigger. Okay, so then what if I have a case where this is only like 4,000 instead? Well, you got over 700 and some kilobytes wasted memory. Getting the idea on why this malloc problem is really getting on my nerves? Well, that's basically the point here and what I'm trying to figure out and what's going on. And of course, if you were to, well, I don't know why it gets left out like that, but just save it and run it again. Debug. Okay, go back to here. This is something strange. And I tried the reporting, but haven't got an answer on. Okay. For some odd reason, I have to have two definitions of that, otherwise the keyboard functions don't work. Local variable, and that's pretty much about the only things in the warnings that I'm getting. Difference from star star. <laughs> hey, but I've tried every combination. I've, ta I've tried taking these. I've tried taking these out on everything I can think of doesn't work. I tried putting this in the front of them. That doesn't work. I've tried pretty much every single combination I can think of. And I don't get anywhere. So, what is going on? 